Good evening, hyperspinners. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up cheats in RetroArch, so get ready. All right, let's go ahead and get started. So the beauty of this is RetroArch does all the legwork for you. So when you are trying to find your cheats, uh, you essentially just go to the main menu and you find your cheat. Uh, all other emulators that are sort of, uh, you know, uh, siloed, if you will, uh, you do have to, you know, ultimately find these files, you know, basically the Game Genie, you know, uh, original codes to actually have them work. But RetroArch has everything baked in. So let's go ahead and uh, show off how to uh, do that. So first you want to open up uh, RetroArch here. And what you're going to do is there is a cheat uh, place to download it and let me see if I can find this here online updater and what you want to do is go down to update cheats and what you'll do is you'll just hit enter and then it'll start downloading so once that's completed then you will have had all the cheats and there's a number of systems that have that support you know if there were game genie codes uh, for a particular system, then you know you are in business and you're ready to go. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, back out of this so you can actually start seeing uh, how this works. And what we're going to do is we're just going to launch a game. And the one that you know I was looking at is the Mupin 64 Plus uh, emulation. So I'm going to go ahead and open up that. And I'm going to hit run. All right, so there you go. You can see the game has started. And what we're going to do is we're just going to go to the uh, main menu here. And uh, once you've done that, you'll just scroll on down. And you will find cheats. So you just click cheats. And you go down here. And since I've already done this, you see the list of all the cheats here. But what you're going to want to do is you're just going to say load cheat file. And in this case, I could just say replace because, you know, I want a full list. And what you'll do is select the system that you're in. And you'll just need to do this the one time uh, when you're in the game. But if you have a new game, you'll have to select this again. So just kind of keep that in mind. Uh, so here are the systems that support cheats. There's quite a few of them. And... We'll just go down the list so you can see all the systems. Uh, it's all pretty standard there, you know, that you can uh, remember. And what we're going to do is select the 64. And you're going to have to scroll on down and select your game. And once you've done that, you can see there's a lot of support. Uh, what you'll find are a number of essentially titles, if you will. So. Uh, you'll have to try out, you know, based on the game that you have, you'll have to try out the game's um, cheats themselves to see if they're working. And I just ended up selecting one of the codes, uh, and you will find all of the cheats uh, displayed below here. So what we're going to do is we're going to test, I don't know, the infinite ammo. I, I just pushed the right arrow to activate that. But once you've done that, you can just go straight back to the game and I'm going to go ahead and uh, push the back button there or right click uh, by default and I'm going to go back to resume. So we're going to go ahead and enter all of this. So, if this works, <laughs> you're going to see unlimited ammo. Let me go ahead and fast forward this. Alright, so now let's go ahead and uh, try this out. So let's figure out what button is set to the ammo. Alright, so it looks like there's a guy shooting at me. Here we go. There is the ammo. And there we go it works so we can just keep on using ammo everything's fine so it's everything like you're used to uh with that old uh game genie uh brings back a lot of memories and that is it on the cheats uh you can go back into the menu and you can select uh 
additional cheats by just going down here again, going to cheats, hitting enter or your uh, selection output for the menu. And you can just, you know, turn things on and off. Uh, something to keep in mind if you were to update uh, another cheat or turn that cheat off by just, you know, sliding your left arrow uh, once and it would turn the code off. You will have to basically restart the game just so the codes, uh, you know, basically uh, fix themselves. But that's all there is to it. So setting up codes, pretty easy to do. Add some flavor to some of these games because, you know, if you're like me, you know, you couldn't beat all the games. You had to reach out to Game Genie. It was just a thing that we all did, and it was great. It was glorious. I hope this helps you guys, and we'll catch you next time.